everybody. Um, I'm just letting you see the nice aprons that my sister Tracy sent us. Uh, this is Geraldine, the camera lady, and I just thought I'd introduce you to her. And here's her lovely aprons. My sister got matching ones for us. So thank you very much. So thank you, Tracy, for her lovely aprons. They're great. Thank you, Tracy. I love it. And if you do like um, the channel, please do subscribe and it's free of charge, it doesn't cost you anything, and hit that notification bell, so it just gives you the gentle reminder of when the videos come out. And if you love the video, which I'm sure you will, because who doesn't love pancakes, give it a thumbs up, because they really taste delicious. Thank you, Geraldine. You're welcome, <laughs> Sharon. And I hope you enjoy it. Right, here's all the ingredients we need. The basic one that we need is a plain flour or all-purpose flour. We need 150 grams, three eggs, teaspoon of sugar. I've got brown sugar, but you can use any sugar, it doesn't matter. And we need 300 mils of milk. For decoration, we need some chocolate chips. These are optional, but that's what I like. We've got some icing sugar, just to sprinkle on the top. And you can use whatever fruit you want. I've got here some strawberries and some blueberries. You can use raspberries, blackberries. You can use whatever you like. Um, just a little bit of butter for the frying. And we've got some nice white chocolate, which we're going to put in the middle of our pancakes. And it, the strawberries and the blueberries and the white chocolate with the pancakes go so nice together. So first of all, we're just going to crack some eggs into the bowl. So just give these a little whisk. So into our bowl, we're going to just place the flour. So then we add our eggs, add half the milk, and just give this a mix around with a whisk. It's a very simple recipe to do. It takes two minutes. Now some people put salt in their mixture. I don't bother. So because we're doing sweet pancakes, I'm going to put a little bit of sugar in and then I'm going to add the rest of the milk. There is a lot of liquid in this because we want it to be nice and thin because we're making crepes. If you're doing normal pancakes the mixture is thicker. Just be careful when you're adding the milk because it can splash at first. So you'll see the consistency is quite thin. That's how we want it. I find the best way for to get this chocolate right in the middle of the pancake is to grate it. Right, and I just thought I'd show you here that if you've got a little bit of chocolate left, why not just put it in your mouth? <laughs> just have a taste of it. Mmm, very nice. This is good exercise for you. <laughs> good to see your muscles scraping the chocolate against the grater. <laughs> How's it feel, Sharon? It feels nice because I know I'm going to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at this all oh, this lovely white chocolate all grated and that's going to go in our lovely pancakes I'm sure you'd have plenty of volunteers helping you with the chocolate part especially when you're near the end and you just got to eat it <laughs> you forgot me <laughs> it's all mine <laughs> Now you can use a, a normal um, frying pan or you can get yourself a crepe pan. So I'll do one in each. So what you want to do is get your pan hot first before you add your butter. And the first one doesn't always work out the best. So by the time you do your second one, it, it's a lot better. So once your pan is hot, you just put a small amount of butter in. Just spread the butter around. And then what you want to do is you get your mixture and you just lift the pan off, pour it in and pour it around your pan. So as you can see around the edge is a nice crispy bit. If you don't want too much of a crispiness don't get it too near the, the edge but I love it like that. And what you can do is just lift it up slightly to see if you think it's cooked. But usually when it starts kind of getting crispy that's it cooked. And then you simply get your spatula and flip it. Look at that, doesn't that look gorgeous? And that's the first one, so that's not bad. And you just give it a few minutes on the other side 
and just to check it you just simply just lift it slightly and you can see of course you can flip it up in the air if you wanted to I'm not going to be that adventurous today yep that's ready so what we're going to do is we're going to flip it again so then we're going to get some of the white chocolate and we're going to sprinkle it over all of the pancake or the crepe I should call it a crepe so you want at least three tablespoons you want a decent amount put four if you wanted <laughs> and then you simply fold that over and then fold it over again and there you have one pancake filled with white chocolate so I've just put some butter into this crepe pan so I'm going to try this see what this turns out like so just sprinkle that on take it off the gas and swirl it around so you cover the whole pan so I've never actually used a crepe pan before so this will be interesting to see how this turns out it's just practice trying to get the even amount right so this should be ready now so I'm just going to flip this over it doesn't look as good as the frying pan personally but it still looks lovely some people love these pans and some people love just a normal frying pan but it's up to you so we'll just give this a few more minutes then we'll flip that over so again we'll get about three tablespoons of chocolate sprinkle that around I always flip it over because it always looks nicer the other side is always nicer when it's rolled over okay it will carry on melting because it is hot so we're just going to put it on a plate so we're just going to place this onto the plate so just bring it, your pan slightly above it and slide it over and then what we're going to do is we're going to get some of our strawberries I've cut this up and you just want to place some strawberries inside they don't have to be perfect, just sprinkle a few of them around. I'm just going to cut the blueberries up, I think. Sprinkle them around. Right, then what you want to do is you want to peel one bit over on one side, one on the other one. Turn it around towards you and then you want to fold it over. Fold it over again. So you get this nice little square parcel. That's one way of doing it. Turn the pan off and then we'll put some strawberries on. As I said, you can put whatever fruit you want on. You do it on one half, put some blueberries on. You can either cut them in half or leave them whole, it doesn't matter. And then you just flip this over like that. So we'll put it onto our plate. So you can serve it like that or you can kind of push down and flip it over again doesn't matter that the fruit comes out just pop it back in look at that doesn't that look delicious so we have the few different types we have the one with just the plain chocolate inside or you have the one that's wrapped like this with the fruit inside or you've got this type here so we're just going to decorate it now so you're simply just going to get a sieve put some icing sugar in your sieve and just give it a little it on the side you can see how this helps decorate makes a difference and you want to put a few blueberries on the side a strawberry these are lovely big strawberries and just get a bit of whipped cream and put that on the side isn't this looking nice? These little few decorations really just make it, especially if you've got some guests coming over. And get a few of your white chocolate buttons, put them over the plate, put some into the, the cream, just a few sprinkled around. And again, just put maybe a little bit more ice and sugar on the top. So don't they look delicious? three ways to serve your pancakes. 